Yo, what's up? YouTube, Facebook, everything, Twitties. How's it going? Say hi, biscuit. Hi, biscuit. How you doing, baby cakes? <laughs> right, welcome to episode ten, BHB TV. This is the life. You heard it right. Fingers on the trigger. The dog and uh, today I am going to walk you through some of the most important guitar licks that you're ever going to need. I'm playing my Mexican Fender Road Worn Strat made in Mexico by Mexicans for Americans Sunflower. and here is lick number one the whoop de woo and it goes like this <coughs> Now it's a movable lick, you can play here too. Or you can play here. Depending on what key you're in. De -whoop -de -whoop. Now this next lick, number two, is called the Nina. 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 And it's just how it sounds. Now you can put that together with the whoop de woo Brilliant. Lick number three I call the Ring Tun Tin Tun Tin Tuni, which was ripped off from Frank Zappa, I think. It goes like this. Lick number four is the Ernie 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 Ernie. It goes like this. Lick number five. I call this the jackpot because it sounds like a fruit machine when you hit the jackpot. Now let's see if we can put them all together. How about this? Those five tricks alone are a sure way to impress your friends and your friends and will ensure that with practice and dedication and a really really good fuzzy guitar sound that you too can go out and earn literally pounds playing the guitar. Oh yeah! Good morning people and welcome to Connor's Corner. This episode is me being very tired and having my glasses on, having a massive coat on because of the cold and having weird hair. Uh, I'll tell you two stories and I'll give you two pieces of advice as well because it's just good for you, you know. And this advice, this is really good advice actually, like really good advice. Um, because it's terrible if you do it. Uh, so basically the first story is this. I, when was it? About a couple of weeks ago, me, Brent, Ian, we went to do rehearsal. It's all cool. We pay for the rehearsal. All cool. I drive home. Well, I drive to PMT first, actually, uh, the music shop. And then I went in there, looked around a bit, went, looked for my wallet, thought, oh, I've left it in the car. Went to the car. It wasn't in the car. Got home. I looked at home. Why would it be at home? I had it at rehearsal. Looked all in my car, all through the drum bags, and it was not in there at all. So now I don't have a wallet, basically. I did go and look for it, spent about two hours looking for it. Couldn't find it. Um, and now I'm stuck with... Wait for this. This lovely thing, which makes a fantastic noise when you open it. I mean, it's brilliant. I hate it. Um, yeah. So the first piece of advice is always check the roof of your car before you drive off. Yeah, do that. It's always good for you. Second piece of advice, well, the second story actually, is last night. Was it last night? Yeah, it was. No, night before. So Tuesday. Tuesday night, two nights ago, I went out clubbing. And obviously you need identification, you need ID. And my ID happened to be in my wallet, which I've lost. 
so I took my passport out with me because I really wanted to go. I mean, all my mates were going; it was going to be fun. Um, I know I now no longer have my passport because, uh, yeah, well, that's the advice. There you go. I'll say the advice. So I now no longer have my passport, and the advice is this: don't ever put your passport in your jacket. Take it out clubbing and then give your jacket to somebody who's cold. Forget your passport's in there completely. And not only lose your passport, you lose your jacket as well. I'm never going to see that jacket again. Ever. Which is really sad. It cost me a whole, like, five quid. Mad. Anyway, that's my advice. Check the roof of your car before you drive off. And don't ever put your passport in your jacket and give your jacket to somebody who's cold. Done. Peace. The reason my guitar sounds so great today is because I'm using a plug-in uh, into my computer. And uh, with uh, progress being the way forward, then this is obviously the way that a guitar is supposed to sound. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, we will be back with episode 11 very soon. We've got a couple of gigs coming up, which are really cool. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that. So it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from her. It's goodbye from this. See you on the other side. <laughs>